you guys don't realize, like, we'll come out of a reaction that we just did, because we film them back to back to back to back to back. Usually eight to ten. Yeah, we eight to ten a day when we film. And so we'll come out of something that may have just been deeply depressing <laughs> or furiously invigorating. And it's literally, we hit cut, three seconds for thumbnail, record the next reaction. <laughs> so you, we tried, we, so the last thing we saw was great! It was great. It was so good! Just Welcome back to our stupid reaction to Sub Corbin. Today, the Olympics are coming up. Oh, great. Hopefully. We'll see. I I love the Olympics, but I gotta say, this is the first time in my entire life I've been like, great. No fans, no yeah. sex. Well, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> If, Cardboard beds. If you great. If you don't know what he's talking about, you haven't been keeping up with the news. <laughs> yeah, Olympians are not allowed to have sex. You know who's you know who's going to get the gold medal this year? The countries that don't have sex. Those are the ones that are going to get the gold medals because all the other ones are going to be completely deflated. Way to go, Uruguay. Yeah. <laughs> Uruguay. I don't know. It was a mixture of <laughs> Poland and Uruguay. They don't have sex in Uruguay. Yeah, that's it. Because they're, they're pure. pure. Yeah. yeah, that's it. You get it. Okay, anyway, so this is an this Olympic is thing. India's most fa uh, India medal favorite. So this is gonna go over like all the Indians that are the like, athletes. The, yeah, the favorites. Sweet. Because I wanted to know. Cause obviously, we know like the popular ones. We got so Simone, of course. The so, goat. So, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the dude. The chick is might be the best athlete on the planet right now. I'm if you've never, you. I saw a video. Oh, she's insane. You've got to see a video from like farther back, not the coverage they give no. on the cameras. How high she gets? It's shock. She's Marvel superhero, freaky strong. She gets, she gets like, cause she's four foot seven or something, right? Yeah. But she gets like 10 or 11 feet in the air. She's already the goat in terms of uh, floor gymnastics and, yeah. and other things like that. But anyways, this goes on. Cause I wanted right. to know who like in the Olympics, if they're not going to be canceled, uh, <laughs> um, that, that in, from India that we should, uh, that we should, uh, yeah, be watch for not is what I'm saying. Know who they are. I think they're sending, India's sending, a, it says right here, India's sending 119 sportsmen. Awesome. Uh, so I don't know what percentage that is. I feel so bad for the athletes that have trained for this for so long who aren't going to have any fans. Or have sex. That too. Oh, I mean, it's just the worst. Really. <laughs> here we go. This is how much India has changed as a sporting nation. We've gone from hoping for medals at Olympics to now when we're hoping there are no big upsets against our medal favourites as India's 119 strong sporting contingent for the Tokyo Olympics features at least 10 players who are in the top 3 of the world rankings. Awesome, awesome. Uh, India is going to be competing for 85 medals at the Tokyo Olympics and while just qualifying for these games is indeed a huge, huge, remarkable um, achievement for a few athletes like Bhavani Devi who's become the first oh, ever Indian fencer to qualify for an Olympic Games or for Fawad Mirza who became the first like equestrian from I, India I to qualify events. for an Olympics in I over 20 too. years or Neetha Kumanan who became the first Indian female sailor wow, to awesome. qualify for an Olympics or for Sergeant Prakash who became the first ever Indian swimmer to automatically oh, qualify great. for an Olympic game. A lot of the expectations are events. riding yeah. on our Indian contingent. Expectations based also on hope, but also on solid world ranking and recent form. Sweet. The Pika Barak. No, sorry. The Pika's a great. better to start off with when we talk about recent form than Deepika Kumari. The archer who capped off her Tokyo Olympics preparations with three gold medals in the Archery World Cup in Paris this June. A performance that actually saw her reclaim her world number one crown for the first time since 2012. That's Along awesome. with her husband Atanu Da, she also makes a formidable mixed team that's with cool. the oh, that's awesome. gold in Paris as well. Don't come at that couple. Oh, hell yeah. Mirabai Chanu is a former world champion in the 49 kg weightlifting category. She goes into the Tokyo Olympics as the she world number three. She also was a medal favorite at the Rio Olympics. Uh, and she, of course, will have some demons to vanquish 
after failing to register a clean clean and jerk score at uh, the Rio Olympics. Of course, uh, one may ask if she recovered from are that. Are the Iranians as strong on the female side as they are on the male? She broke the world record the in the Iranians clean and jerk score. Your male guess side. is as good as mine on that. Her performance in the snatch event though is what tends to bring her average score down. So that is something Mirabai of course will be watching out for. She's of course one uh, going to be competing in one of the first medal categories for India at the Tokyo Olympics on 24th July is when she starts in first. I've heard about him. He's supposed to be like the world's best. Javelin throw. Next is Neera Chopra, perhaps India's biggest hope for a medal in track and field at the Tokyo Olympics. Neera in fact broke into the scene right before the Rio Olympics. His throw of 86.48 meters at the under 20 world championships right before the Tokyo Olympics in fact was good enough to have won him a bronze uh, at the Rio Olympics. Unfortunately, he couldn't compete because the cutoff date deadline for competition and qualification had passed. Oh, but well, sucks. five years later, the army man is all ready to compete at the highest stage once again. How ready is he, do you ask? Well, his personal best throw was registered this year, 88.07. It's not uh, among the top three of uh, this season. In fact, it's the fourth place throw of the season, but Mira's ability to How perform at the highest stage and the confidence I don't know off the that he has in himself head. definitely makes him a big, big medal prospect. And then, of course, there are the shooters, the wrestlers, and the boxers. Always, always lots riding on these three contingents, these three teams. Every time India travels for a big continental event or, of course, the Olympics. Like nearly 300 feet. That's insane. That's like going from home plate at Dodger Stadium shooters. almost to the fence. Uh, right now, in <laughs> fact, there are four men and five women shooters who are in the top three of their world rankings at the moment. Quite a young wow. squad has been picked this time around, but among them, the biggest medal hope, of course, is this young is man. This, like this a, young man being just 19 yeah, years you. old. Saurabh Chaudhary is so <laughs> much of a favorite for a medal it's that he's in fact uh, the only Indian to take in time magazine uh, uh, 48 athletes to watch out for at the Tokyo Olympics list. He's won seven World Cup gold medals that have the already. Circle, in fact, in 2018 was India's youngest Asian Games gold medalist when he won a gold at the age of 16. And in fact, Saurabh is also not the world number one in his event. It's in fact another Indian, Abhishek Varma, who leads the rankings in the 10 meter air pistol event, but Saurabh actually placed second at the moment. But if you were to ask it for an honest opinion, Saurabh's best chance for a gold medal in Tokyo probably will come in the mixed team event where he partners with yet another 19 year old Manu Bhakar. The two together, in fact, have won four World Cup goals already, including one just this year. Two more Indian men, a 10 meter air rifle shooter, Divyansh Singh Panwar, and 50 meter rival three positions shooter, Eshwarya Pratap Singh, are ranked number two in the Tokyo rankings at the moment. Divyansh, in fact, is a medal prospect in the mixed event, along with women's 10 meter air rifle, world number one, Elavinil Valaravan. In fact, there are such riches in the Indian shooting a team that 25 meter air or pistol shooter Chinki Yadav who actually booked the quota place for India in the event uh, for the Tokyo wow. Olympics and won a That's World Cup gold earlier this year has not been selected to represent India at Promising, the Tokyo Olympics. Promising I guess? Olympics. Instead yeah. it's uh, Rahim Hard to beat America, it's true no. uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know how America is in the Olympics. <laughs> in the Olympics. <laughs> but in terms of police shooting. Manu's third event at the Tokyo Olympics will be the 10 meter air pistol, where she and Yashaswini Deswal are the world number two and one. Yes, wrestling. Next up, let's Great talk Olympics about sport. the wrestlers. They're always, of course, favorites. One of my around. favorites. Vinish to watch. also has a lot of demons to vanquish after the injury at the Rio Olympics. She's in top four. She's, of course, the top seed in her category. And it's of course, of course, a big, big medal favorite at the Tokyo Olympics. There are also three Wrestling other men so who have uh, been seeded at the Tokyo Olympics. There's uh, Bajran Punia and Deepak Punia. Both of them are seeded second, while Ravi Kumar is seeded fourth in his category. A little bit of a concern regarding Bajran Punia, considering he uh, injured himself about three weeks back. He's, of course, always a favorite no matter where he competes. So it just remains to be seen where his injury or his recovery is placed right now, and then you know we'll see. We'll, we'll see what if we do end up seeing him Sucks to get on the three podium. Weeks before the finish, I must the talk games? about the boxers. Awful. Love this too. 
This is where they. India are sending a record nine boxers to the Tokyo wow. Olympics this time round, and of course leading the contingent at the opening ceremony. And of course Mary leading yeah. the way and the charge is going to be MC Mary Kong. Mary has of course qualified for the second Olympics after failing to no, qualify. Nothing like Priyanka. In June, little Looks bit of redemption there for her as well. <laughs> she is not seated this time round, but there's of course no denying Mary when she's in the form that she always takes to the ring. Um, Amit Pangal is uh, the world number one and the top seed uh, among the Indians uh, competing in Tokyo. Uh, he of course is always a favorite. He won world medals at the 2018 Asian Games, the 2019 Asian Championships and also in 2019 he won a silver at the World Championships. So of course a lot riding on his shoulders as well, lots of expectations from all of India's athletes. 119 of them are going to be competing for 85 medals. This time round, and of course, I can't end this video without mentioning P.V. Sindhu, not in the top three of her rankings. It doesn't sort of didn't make the cut for this video, but P.V. Sindhu always, always a champion, always a favorite. She's the sixth seed yeah. in women's singles of badminton this time. She's uh, the silver medalist from the Rio Olympics. The gold medalist, Carolina Marin, of course, is not going to be competing. She's pulled out due to an injury. So let's see uh, where well, fate takes her. Fate, fate and, of course, uh, all her uh, strength and all her form takes P.V. Sindhu and all the other athletes. Um, keep uh, following all the videos on the Queen as we get you more and more updates uh, from the Tokyo Olympics. We are truthful, unafraid cool. and independent. It's not about the video, I guess. Why was Priyanka cast as Mary Kong? Because it's, because it's Priyanka. You're going to get people come see the film. But she looks Priyanka. like she's from like us or something. Oh yeah, they're very, very different looking in terms of their even what... I agree with you, but it's because you're going to get more people to see the film because it's just Priyanka. Oh, I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I, I'm on the side of make it look like the person. Oh, especially yeah, if she's as often as you can. from a less represented part of India. <laughs> yeah, but if you don't have anybody that can act and you don't have anybody that has a box office draw... Priyanka's not a bad choice if you're going to choose somebody. To oh, I'm not her. saying she's a bad actress. No, well, obviously. No, I agree. She looks nothing like her. It's like it would be. It's like let me think of something comparable where they cast somebody in a role and it's like they didn't even come remotely close to looking like the person they're portraying in real life. Hamilton looks nothing like George Washington. It's very, very true. I mean, it's offensive, isn't it, Lynn? What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, how I because obviously this is the well, I guess. We were around for this is the first first Olympics. Were we around for the winter one? I think we I think the Winter Olympics had they had just finished. It was twenty eighteen. Okay. Yeah, because it's every four years. They used to do the Olympics winter and summer at the exact same time every four years, and then they changed it yeah. so that it could be split every two. There's still four per season, but we get them every two. So the last Olympic games were winter games in twenty twenty. The last summer games were in Brazil four years ago. So no, we. We had, uh, yeah. So I mean, I've, I've never it was 20, 2018. I've never paid attention to how India does in in the Olympics, mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know. So you guys can tell us how how well they. Well, they I do. Really do. I do know they haven't been a name like in the Summer Olympics because of the most popular events here in the United States and our the people that are expected to do well. The two biggest summer events for us are always going to be swimming and gymnastics. That's mm -hmm. just what it's always been. Like because Phelps. it's Phelps. Yeah, Phelps. And, and you know, and it's always been, you know, in gymnastics, it's always between the U.S., China, and Russia. And obviously, Romania had a long season of successes. But in these other events, I've always loved to watch everything. Yeah. If it's if it's on and it's an Olympic event, I want to watch it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, some of the the lesser watched stuff, I, I love all of the weightlifting events. I love wrestling for some reason doesn't get watched as much. I love watching wrestling. I yeah. love watching boxing. Mm -hmm. But I too I agree. I I like the consistent countries that we've competed with tend to be our enemies. It's like well, so it's like we know about the Chinese athletes and the Russian athletes, but not our <laughs> friends. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's America. Uh, yeah. But that that's why these games are popular is because countries use them to kind of like, we're better than you, could kind of build up support. Right. Because it's not really about the countries. It's about these athletes. And the but sport. we make it about the country. Like, yeah. You no, know, it's, it's really about this person, regardless of where they're from, they're extremely talented. That's just one thing I've never understood. I'm like, why, why, does, why do we care what country they're from? Right. I don't, like, I don't get that part of it. 
I'm like, this athlete's great regardless of where they're from. I don't read. You know, I, and there have been times I've rooted. I, I, I don't care. I, I want to find. I'm with you. It's like yeah. I want to see who's the best athlete and the best athlete should win. If 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 an American athlete isn't as good as any other country's athlete. They shouldn't win their gold medal. The best athlete should win it. Yeah. Yeah. I've just never understood linking the the country to the player in terms of, I, I, I'm just rooting for the United States. Right. No. No matter what. No, it's no. not. You're not patriotic if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you're no more patriotic as me as a Falcons fan. No, just rooting for the Falcons. <laughs> like, I'll tell you, there's many times I've seen uh, competitions where an American's been involved in it. But there was a country, and they did a story on the athlete, and they're the underdog, and I'm rooting for them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, let us know uh, what what athletes we should be looking out for. If some of these, if there's some that anything they missed, that was missed, yeah, uh, let us know uh, down below. Just.